Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering a question from one of the uh, Solomon papers, um, Solomon A. This is question number six from Solomon A, which corresponds to question number three from my P2 endotopic worksheet on equations of circles, coordinate geometry from P2. Um, it says the circle C has center negative 3, 2 and passes to the point 2, 1. Find an equation for the circle C. Okay, so I'm just going to, for the purposes of um, making it clear, I'm just going to draw a circle, okay, with this center. Okay, so that, there's the center of the circle, which is minus 3, 2. And it passes through the point 2, 1. Okay, passes through the point 2, 1. So let's say this is the point minus 3, 2, minus 3, 2. Okay, and 2, 1 is going to be over here somewhere. It's the point 2, 1. Okay, if you think about this as a um, axis, okay, then that's x. So it would be somewhere over here, 2, 1, something like that. The, the, the axis would be somewhere over here. Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Okay, now, find an equation for the circle C. Now, this is the center of the circle, and this is the um, point on the circle. This is a point on the circle. That means this is the radius of the circle. This is the radius. So to find the equation of a circle, we're going to use the formula x minus a squared plus y minus, plus y minus b all squared y minus b all squared is equal to r squared. Now we know a, a is going to be equal to um, 3 basically. Okay, because the center of the circle, this is this is the equation of the circle with center A, B, and radius is R. Okay, so we can see the center is actually negative 3, 2. So we can say this is going to be X minus minus 3 squared plus Y minus 2 squared equals R squared. So this is X plus 3 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals... Now, we've got to find the radius. Now, the radius can be found using the length formula for these two. It's going to be the square root of... Or I can say r squared, because what we need is r squared. So I can... Forget the square root. I can say r squared is equal to... r squared is equal to the... Using the length formula, you're going to have the change in x, which is minus 3 minus 2 squared, plus the change in y, 2 minus 1 squared... So we can say r squared is going to be, that's minus 5 squared, which is 25, plus 1 squared, which is a 1, so you've got 26. So r squared is equal to 26. So this is the equation of the circle. You can leave it in this form. That's perfectly fine. This is the form where we can read from it straight away the center and the radius of the circle. So we use the center. So x minus minus 3, x plus 3 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals the radius squared. So we found the radius because we know this point is on the circumference of the circle. That's the center. The distance between them is going to be the, um, the radius. So the square of the radius is 26. That's what we put here. There's the answer for part A. Now for part B, it says show that the point with coordinates negative 4, 7 lies on C. So that means the point negative 4, 7 should satisfy the equation x plus 3 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 26. So if I substitute x equals negative 4 in here, I'll have negative 4 plus 3 squared plus, and if I substitute y as 7, 7 minus 2 squared, what does that give us? That gives us um, minus 4 plus 3, which is, is going to be minus 1, so that's going to be 1, and 7 minus 2 which is going to be 5, 5 squared, which is going to give you 26. So we can see that for sure, all right, this point satisfies the equation of the line, of the curve, of, of the circle, sorry. It satisfies the equation of the circle. It makes the left-hand side be the same as the right-hand side. Therefore, we can say um, as minus 4, 7 satisfies the equation of the circle, therefore negative 4, 7 lies on the circle.
it's on the circumference of the circle. Simple as that, that's part, um, part B. Then part C says, find an equation for the tangent to C at the point negative 4, 7. Okay, so we have our circle. We have the center of the circle as minus 3, 2. Okay, so we have the center of the circle as minus 3, 2. We have minus 4, 7 as the tangent uh, or the, the point, okay, point here, minus 4, 7. Okay, the tangent to the circle is a straight line which just brushes a circle at that point without cutting through it. That's the tangent to the circle. Let me just... Um, Bring it down here a bit. So that's the tangent to the circle. We want to find the equation of that tangent. Now, what we can do here is we can find basically the gradient. To find the equation of the tangent, we need the equation of the tangent. Equation of the tangent. So we need two things. We need a point on the tangent. We need a point on the tangent, which is negative 4, 7. That's okay. And the other thing we need is the gradient of the tangent. That's what we need to find. Now, we can find the gradient of this tangent by finding the gradient of the normal. The normal is this line here, which is perpendicular to the tangent. So the gradient of the normal is going to be the change in y. Now, remember, this is minus 4 and 7, and this is minus 3 and 2. So the change in y, which is 7 minus 2, over the change in x, which is minus 3 minus, minus, minus 4 minus minus uh, 3, which is going to be 5 over, that's minus 4 plus 1, which is, well, minus, minus 4, sorry, plus 3, which is negative 1. So the gradient of the normal is negative 5. That's the gradient of the normal. Therefore, the gradient of the tangent, therefore, is going to be 1 fifth, the negative reciprocal, because the gradient of the normal is perpendicular to the gradient of the tangent. They're, they're, they're perpendicular to each other. So they're negative reciprocals. So I know it passes through the point negative 4, 7. I know it has a gradient of 1 fifth. We have to find the equation in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0, where a, b, and c are whole numbers integers. So I can use this form, makes life easier. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 where x1 and y1 are these two points here, these two values there, the x and y coordinates of the point. So you have y minus y1, which is 7, equals m, which is 1 fifth, times x minus x1, which is minus 4. So it's minus minus 4, which is plus 4. So um, I want to have this as integers, so I'm going to just multiply both sides by 5. This gives me 5y minus 35 equals x plus 4. We want to write it in this form here where you've got ax plus by plus c equals zero. I prefer to put the x on the side where it's going to be positive. So I have x minus 5y, subtract 5y from both sides and add 35 to both sides. I get plus 39. So I have x plus 5y plus 39 is equal to zero. That is the equation of the normal, or sorry, the tangent to this circle as they ask us to find. Okay, now supposing I know a lot of you don't like this method. A lot of you like, like to use y equals mx plus c. So I'll show you this way as well. So if you use the form y equals mx plus c to find your answer and then rearrange it into this form, it's no problem. So in this case, your y would be the 7, your m would be 1 fifth, and your x would be negative 4. And you've got to find what c is and then put in the equation. So that gives you 7 equals minus 4 over 5 plus c. So then you'll end up with, um, if you... Uh, add 4 fifths to both sides, you have 7 plus 4 over 5 equals C. So you're going to multiply this. This will be 35 over 5 plus 4 over 5 equals C. So therefore, C is equal to 39 over 5. So we have Y equals M, which is 1 fifth, X plus 39 over 5. We can multiply both sides by 5, in which case you get 5Y equals X plus 39 um, uh, oops, what did I do here? I'm supposed to say minus. So then I end up with x minus 5y plus 39 equals 0, which is the same as my answer here. I think I wrote down minus here and a plus, and a, and a plus here by mistake in a, in a rush. So don't be in a rush when you do these things. Okay, that, that's 
Good. All right. That was, that's actually the answer. And I did it this way. I mean, I, that's the answer I got. It's just when I copied it down over here, I put, I put um, a plus instead of a minus. All right. So here we have the answer to the question done in two ways in the end, that last part. But that's how you deal with such questions. This is question three from the end of topic worksheet on my P2 um, end of topic worksheets and question number six from the Solomon A uh, C2 collection. All right. So um, other questions you might want to find in the um, in the Solomon A paper from the C2, the old C2 will be found in this playlist over here. Other questions from this end of topic worksheet on equations and circles you can find here in this playlist. Um, other questions which are in general to do with equations of circles in P2 in this playlist and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.